I want to do in this case is, again, kind of same thing. I want to look at where this angle is because the formula says it's going to be either plus or minus based on this angle. Well, I know, guys, halfway around the circle is pi, which in terms of twelfths is 12 pi over 12. Seven half of the circle, then, is 6 pi over 12. So therefore, this angle is somewhere over here, which would be in the second quadrant, which therefore cosine is going to be negative. So when I'm plugging in the formula, I'm going to use the negative form of this. And then it's 1 plus cosine of u. Now remember, this for the formula is cosine of u divided by 2. So therefore, I could say u divided by 2 is equal to 7 pi over 12. Multiply by 2 on both sides. u is equal to 14 pi over 12. Right, which we know we could obviously reduce um, to 7 pi over 6. <coughs> yeah? So then we have 1 plus, what is the cosine of 7 pi over 6? So we think cosine 7 pi over 6? Negative square root of 3 over 2. Negative square root of 3 over 2. Very good. Knowing that. Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. And then that's divided by 2. And is that the same as our other problem? Yeah, it is pretty, it's pretty much the exact same. If you look at it, the only difference here is we have this negative. So I'll just kind of work this a little kind of quick. Square root over 2 over 2. I multiply by 2 over 2. Make sure you apply distributive property. So therefore, I get 2 minus the square root of 3 over 4. And then I can break the square root in the numerator denominator, rewrite that as 2, but instead of dividing by 2, I'll just rewrite that as multiplication. So close to the same answer that we had, but not exactly the same. Right? Yes? Good. Okay. See, it wasn't that bad, was it? Now, 